Hey, it's Michelle Cunningham, and I filmed a crazy awesome video for you. If you are looking to generate more local leads from your house using QR codes, I am gonna show you something that is so fantastic that can generate an unlimited amount of leads for you, not just locally, but literally all across the entire nation or beyond that if you can sell internationally. So if this excites you, you have to stick with me. Let's jump in. Okay, so tip number one, when we are making QR code flyers, the number one most important thing is you wanna make sure that you have a beautiful design. So I use Canva to create the amazing design. So let's jump in there. I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this super cute flyer that you're looking at. Okay, so let's talk QR codes. What's awesome about them is you can literally stick these anywhere around town and have people to enter to win. And here's the deal. One of the best things that has happened because of the pandemic is that people now know how to use QR codes because when they go to restaurants, <laughs> it's a common place now. Hover your phone over it with the camera open and boom, a link appears. So I'm gonna show you how to create these and if you're like, ooh, I kinda like your templates, just scroll down below this video, click where it says get your free template here. I'm gonna give you these actual templates so that you can work very easily just from the ones that I've given here and you don't have to like reinvent the wheel because sometimes that's half the battle. So let's jump in. I'm in canva.com. Canva is free and it's a place where you can design and create your own flyers for your business. So. I'm gonna show you uh, this right here. I, I created it right in, in Canva. If you're like, wait, how did you do that? Uh, let me just duplicate one and delete it out of here. You can start with, you go into photos over here. You can pull in a graphic that you like. You can add any sort of text that you want. Just a very basic level here. And then if you're like, wait, I wanna add a QR code. How do I do that? You go down to more, you click QR code and you need to link them into a form. So where it, where's the form? Like, where do we go? Go into Google, go to Google, go to Waffle. This is the Waffle right here. It looks like a Waffle. Click the Waffle, then click Drive. Google, Waffle, Drive, and Go. That's my song I always sing. <laughs> and then you go right into New. We're gonna create a Google form. That's where that's gonna capture people in, people's information when they enter to win. So uh, enter to win form. Okay, uh, enter to win a uh, whatever we're saying a pampering session here just change it to whatever you sell session and then a little description about it uh, enter your name and number to receive a free pampering session perfect email address go to change settings click that check get rid of that because we don't need their email address first question first and last name it's going to change to short answer hit plus cell phone that's all we need we don't need more than that the more fields you give the less people enter and if we want to make it pretty we want to put a little banner across the top if you go right into go into canva and you search for google classroom you can find a cool header it's, it's called a google classroom header sorry that's the right size so find one that you love click on this say ooh, that'll look good uh, enter to win i would just try to make sure that your branding of this matches the branding of your flyer so it doesn't raise a red flag Enter to win, you hit download here, you hit download, and that'll save to your computer. And then what you can do is you come right into your form, you click the paintbrush, because we're gonna customize and paint it pretty, choose the image, click upload, browse for it, find our little handy thing that we created right in Canva, which is free, into this program, which is free, <laughs> and let it load up. And then it's gonna change our theme colors, it's pulling colors from the background here, so whatever color, makes your heart happy, pick that. You can change your background color to whatever you want. Keep it super clean. And the last thing I usually change, I go into settings, I go to presentation and I say, this is what they're gonna get after they enter. Congratulations, we will contact you in the next 30 days if you are one of our lucky winners. Simple, right? Save. And now we're gonna click send. Why does it say send? I don't know, it shouldn't say send. It should say, can you give me the link that I'm gonna share with people? <laughs> That's what it should say. Go there, click on this, this means link. Click on shorten URL, why? I don't know, shorter's better. Click on this, highlight that. Now that's the link that's gonna drive them to this form. Check it out. I paste the link up here. Boom, enter to win a pampering session. First name, cell phone, submit. Cool, let's go back to our QR code form. All right, so I'm over here and I've got to create my QR code. 
So we went to down here to the three dots, we found QR code, we enter the URL, we click generate code. If you take your phone right now and you hover over that, that is going to bring you right into my form that is right here. Crazy, right? So in a perfect world, and I just went through this kind of quickly to show you how to do it, in a perfect world, if your form looks like this first one, you want to kind of make sure that your header, right, when they go from that form in a coffee shop, a salad shop, a nail salon, a hair salon, anywhere that your target audience frequents, you want to make sure that this branding will match the landing page they land on. Right now, they clash because I was just doing a quick tutorial. So in a perfect world, your Google, Google Classroom header would have some of these same colors because what's going to happen is they're going to be looking at the flyer, looking at their phone, looking at the flyer and saying, wait, this is pink and this is purple. These don't match. So just make sure that the branding matches when you do it. And the last step that's super important is I put everything inside folder. You will hate Google if you don't put things in folders. Click folder, create new folder, my entry form at salad craze or whatever you want to call it. Hit create. And if you're like, I don't want to make a new QR code for every location, no problem. You can just make one and then put an extra field on your form that says, where did you enter to win? Okay, and then it would just be one QR code. So if we want to put this into my entry form at Salad Craze, I will go back to, oops, I gotta go back to Google, go back to Waffle, go back to Drive. Here's the form. When you click on it, you, you could just hover over it. There's a little thing that pops up here. Move to form. And we called that my entry form at Salad Craze, move. And now we want to track the responses. So here are the responses. The answers are gonna come into this. You have to click it. It's just a weird nuance of Google. You have to click this to create the form. Create. And now that we're inside that, that Google folder, when enter, entries come in here, they will come right in here. They will also come directly into my folder. Where did I put my folder? My entry form, there it is. So here's my entry form that I can change up on a, on a whim. And the nice thing, I don't have to change the QR code. I can change the form if I'm like, oh, I've got a little more time to make it prettier. And these are where my answers will come in. So what's exciting about that is you literally can take this flyer and put it anywhere around town. So just remember, I gave you this template. You can pick any of these. You can click on the words. You can easily edit the words, change them to say whatever you want. These QR codes, just make sure you pull out this QR code and you're gonna create your own by coming down here to more, clicking on QR code and putting your form that you create right in here. So right below this video, I put a link where you can grab these templates. If you're like, man, I don't want to make my own, you can start with these. And if you're like, man, I just kinda, I do like this design, but I wanna change it up, just hit copy on it. If you don't wanna mess it up, hit copy on it, change up how you want. You can change colors of fonts, you can change colors, you can add graphics. I usually just use photos is where you upload photos in, elements is where you upload elements in, and then text is your text. So those are the key ones that I use. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and if so, just click the subscribe button and the like button, and I will see you in our next video. And again, the templates are right below for you. Have a great, wonderful, powerful week. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this training. Now, I did put a free guide below, and that free guide will show you exactly the templates I used in this video to show you exactly how you can recreate this yourself. And if you're not really all that creative, don't worry. <laughs> I did it. I'm super creative. I love this stuff. So I created a template for you and it's totally free. All you got to do is click the link below that says grab your template here and you can grab the, the Canva template that I shared and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. All right. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week with another amazing video. Hope you have a blessed day, my friend. Bye for now.